All right, YouTube, today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do a little something that I did uh, just out of curiosity and then found out uh, they've actually got a walkthrough about it online. I have a TomTom Tom GPS here, and uh, this particular one, I don't know if you can read that, it says Canada 310. I don't know if that's a model number or not. TomTom Tom XXL. And I noticed that when you plug it in, uh, it lets you browse the files on there, and you can see the splash screen images and things. So I thought, well, hey, what if uh, what if I wanted to do a custom splash screen? And uh, that's what I did. I've restored it to the default state. So I'll go ahead and show you. There's the uh, the yeah. Well, you could kind of see it there for a second if it wasn't for the glare. Let's try going over here. Maybe won't glare so bad here. There you can see it's using the uh, original splash screen. So I'm going to walk you guys through how to make your own. Alrighty, so the first thing you need to do is to uh, plug in your, your device to your computer with a USB cable and power it on. There may be a question that pops up on the screen that says connect to computer, you just select yes. And after a few seconds it will uh, mount itself as a folder called internal on your computer. When you open internal and browse its contents, you'll see there's all sorts of files in here, like the uh, install tomtomhome.exe file uh, that's used to install the TomTom software. But you'll also see there's some image resources in here too, like the low battery icon, uh, the uh, splash screen that starts up with the device, uh, and uh, you know all sorts of stuff. What we're going to do is we're going to mess with this file called splashw.bmp. Now, if you're using a standard screen device instead of a widescreen one, this will just be labeled splash.bmp, and it'll also have different dimensions. Uh, you can see here that TomTom Tom has documentation on their website telling you what kind of bitmap file and the dimensions and things uh, that are supported. So uh, we're going to go ahead and just rename this original here to splashw underscore backup. All right. Now let's. Uh, we've already got a base image here that I'm going to use. Now, if you want to just create your own image from scratch, you can do that. Uh, I'm going to be using GIMP, so I'm going to show you guys how to do this with GIMP. But you can use anything that can create a bitmap file. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and look up GIMP and open that. Now, there's one important thing to remember. The bitmap file you generate has to be 24-bit according to the website here. You can see where it says save the image as a 24-bit bitmap file and the same thing up here. If it's not a 24-bit, if it's 32-bit, it might not display correctly. I, I had one that I didn't change it from 32-bit and it didn't show up properly. Now if you want to create your own image from scratch in GIMP, you can just go to File, New specify the dimensions that you're supposed to have. In this case that would be 480 by 272 and go to town. However, we're going to use this base image that I put on my desktop as a starting point. But, as you might imagine, this image is way too big out the gate. So we need to resize this image. So we're going to go to Image, Scale Image, and we need to size it to the smaller of the two dimensions, which would be the height, 272 pixels. All right. So we're going to change the height. Well, let's leave them locked together. We'll say change the height to 272, and then when you hit Tab, it'll automatically change the width to match. Now if we unlock them, like I was about to do, what will happen is it will squash the image really small. So we're just going to go ahead and scale it to the smaller of the two. Zoom in. And then we're going to say, uh, go to image and select canvas size. And we're going to increase the width to what it's supposed to be. Now and this, this is the point where the chain needs to be unlocked here. So that we can increase the width of the canvas without affecting the height of it. And when you do that, you'll notice down here that we now have the image with some extra space over here. Now you can use the little up and down arrow here to scoot the image where you want it inside the canvas or you can just hit center. 
we're going to scoot it all the way left here and hit resize. And so now you see we have this transparent extra canvas area over here. But I don't want it to be transparent. I want it to be something that I can something that I can use. So I'm going to go ahead and flatten the image out just to make this into a white space. And we're going to say uh, let's do this rectangle select here. We'll select say from here over and we'll say edit fill with foreground color. We're going to get some text. We'll go in here. Oh, flip. And we're going to say this is a test. Don't steal my TomTom. Tom. Now we're going to export this. We'll hit file, export as. We're going to drop it into the internal folder. We're going to make it a uh, BMP file. So we'll just highlight that to get a starter for the name and just delete this portion. So it should end up being splash w.bmp. If you're using a standard screen device, obviously, like I said, your dimensions are going to be different and it's going to be splash bmp and we're going to say now make sure that when you save it as a .bmp that down here it says select file type by extension if you have something else selected down here change it so that it's a .bmp I believe that's a Windows bitmap file in GIMP here yeah right there Windows bitmap image or you can just say by extension and it'll take the bmp so we'll say export when the second window comes up you need to expand advanced options and you need to make sure that it is selected here RG8, G8, B8 under 24 bits and we're going to say export alright so now I'm going to uh, unmount my TomTom Tom, and we will reboot it here and see if it worked alrighty so let's see if it worked here oh. There we go. There is my. It looks a lot better in, that's a, in person than it does on the camera. The camera's not quite picking up the colors. But uh, let's try it again here. There we go. And that's how you put a custom splash screen on your TomTom. -tom. Now I'm going to go back in here. And modify this a little bit to have, uh, you know, my full name, my phone number, mailing address, things like that, so that if it's somebody who's honest who comes across it, uh, they'll know how to get it back to me. And if it's somebody who's dishonest who happens to steal it, then they're going to have my name and my big ugly face staring at them every time the GPS starts up. So if y'all have any comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions, please post them below, and I'll get to them as necessary. And uh, hopefully you guys will find this useful. Remember that this documentation, the specifications and things on the TomTom website here at TomTom.com slash manual slash create your own content with hyphens between it slash index.html question mark startup underscore images dot htm. You could probably just Google custom splash screen TomTom and get to this same page. So uh, yeah, y'all have a good one.